In this lesson for Nick Software's Vivesa, the plugin product that's now available for Aperture, Apple's image editing software, version 2.1, we'll take a look at how we can draw the viewer's attention in on a photograph to an area that we specifically want them to see and take a look at. And in this case, it's a very simple uh, process going through Vivesa. Once you've loaded the product, you can just go to Images, Edit with Vivesa, and the shortcut is right click edit with Vivesa or control click edit with Vivesa. And this will take you right into the user interface, the Nick software user interface. Now as it's opening the image in the user interface, there's a second image that's now been open, that's been made that we're now working non-destructively. So it's a great safe way for us to to work on our pictures and edit our pictures. I'm going to go to control point and I'm going to place a control point here in this blue sky. I'll increase the size of the area that I wish to cover all the way to include the reflection. Now I'm going to drop the brightness a little and then I'm going to also increase saturation. I want that blue color to come up a bit and I'm going to also increase contrast a bit. So you can see already it's uh, taken on a different look. Here's before and after. And, in, and if you'll notice the child has been left alone. There's been no edit made here whatsoever. So now we'll take another control point, place it down here in the water, and I can look at the loop tool in the lower right area of the interface. I can place it in the tonality that I want from light brown to dark brown. I'm going to pick on this light area right here, and I'll increase that all the way across this foreground, and I'll take the saturation, and I'm going to increase the saturation quite a bit. I really want that sand to come up through the water area, if you will, and I'll also increase the contrast. Now I noticed that the reflection of the child came up quite a bit warmer. Here's the before and after. And if I want to protect that and not have it come up, I can just simply take a control point again and place it right here. And I've just protected the child from being affected by this control point on the left. So it's very simple and very quick and clever way to work. I can also place a control point in the background here on the mountain. Uh, on the edge of the hill, the cliff, and I can drop that brightness down a bit and increase a little contrast. It looks a little flat back there. And maybe desaturate that just a little. It picked up a little bit of color back there. So so now our before and after looks sort of like this. And we've really spent sent more of the attention in here. And then to make that point a little bit stronger, we'll add one last control point in the water right in front of this child. And I'm going to take the brightness down quite a bit so that the viewer's attention cannot help but go right to that child. And that's what we're, our goal is here. And again, we can take a look at the selected areas. Here's the white area that's being shown is all the blue tonality in the sky from the first control point. Here's the mountains in the background. And here's this last area right here. And you can see where it's just affected this area right in here in tonality. So it's a real clever way to work. There's no jagged edges, as you can see. Um, it does a brilliant job. It's very photographic in nature. And here's our before and after. And I think it makes the picture look stronger. And again, the child's been left alone. We haven't done any editing on the child at all. So a quick click to save, and we go right back into Aperture. And what will happen is we'll have now a second image on our thumbnail browser on the bottom of our um, interface within Aperture and we've got a non-destructive edit that's taken place and we can move on and finish editing this if we'd like or save it.